And away we go. The bounce of the ball. Ian Robinson in control, bouncing the ball for the start of the 1976 preliminary final. And we welcome viewers on the Seven Network as away we go. Jones gets a tap away. Alex Jesselenko won the toss. They're kicking up to the northern end. Jesselenko off the ground into the forward zone. It's taken there by Robert Walls. Walls right up towards the pocket. It's an awkward one. In comes the Ick of North Melbourne. And we'll take a throw in in that forward pocket for Carlton. I know Scumberland's at centre half forward on Walls. A centre half back on Walls too, Michael. See what other changes you can pick up, Lou. I'm sure there are plenty. Up they go. The ball tapped down here towards Ashman. He screws it over his shoulder. One behind to Carlton. 30 seconds after the start of the game, the first score to Carlton. Boy, am I surprised. I've been doing what, uh, Louis, we've been doing football for over 20 years, and that's the first time I've ever seen anything like that, Paul. Well, I know Sutton's was picked at centre-half back. He's now playing at centre-half forward. And there's David Dents bringing the ball back into play. Out to that half-back flank on that outer side. They're all up in the air. Greg got up high that time. Finally picked up by Moore. Hand pass. Coming over there to Melrose, who drives the ball to centre half four. They all fly. Two go down that time. McClure going after the ball. Spins out of the pack nicely. He's grabbed by Cable. O'Connell can't get clear. The umpire's found a free kick to O'Connell. And the press is going to be on from the word go here today. You believe me. O'Connell with the ball at half back for Carlton. Sends it out towards that wing position. Nolan and Jones. Nolan got his hands, but couldn't hold the mark. Plenty of fumbling going on, but the umpire's found another free kick to Keogh. And Keo takes the free kick out there in that wing position. On the eastern or outer side of the ground. Hard to tell which end the wind is favouring. <coughs> but Carlton have had most of the play so far. A good kick by Keo up here to Robert Walls. Gumbleton tries to knock it away, but Walls has taken the mark. Walls of Carlton about to drive them into attack now. He's on the half forward flank on the eastern side. There's a lead there from Pickett, but Walls is going for the kick. He takes his short one across here towards Armstrong and it comes off. So Armstrong would be within kicking distance, I'd say. He'd be some 50 yards out. He's on an angle. You can see the angle. Up comes Armstrong of Carlton. The kick is going to make the distance all right. What about accuracy? It's there. There's the first goal of the match to Carlton. Coming up two minutes and 20 seconds into the first quarter. Carlton... Carlton settling down a lot quicker than uh, North Melbourne. There's the North Melbourne runner, Laurie Dwyer, former champion, going over to speak to Mark Dawson, obviously telling him, keep a tighter rein on uh, fellas like Armstrong. Well, they've got David Dench out there on the half-back flank or in the forward pocket, or back pocket, I should say, and Henshaw uh, will be kicking the ball up. Back to the centre now, waiting for the umpire to throw it down. Jones and Nolan. Knocked out by Nolan. Um, Armstrong gets his... Oh, there's nearly a free kick, but Dawson takes it away. And up towards uh, North Melbourne's half forward and a mark that line. He quickly plays on. In a bit of trouble now as he tries to worm his way past his opponents. Hooks the ball back and a mark to Melrose. A little bit of luck that time. A hand pass backfield. And the ball is driven up by uh, Blight. The chance for a mark. Yes. And it's has got the mark. Only about, uh, let's see, 35 metres out from goal on a very slight angle. A chance to put North Melbourne's first goal on the board. North made hard work of that one. But they've got a chance now to score. The kick by Simmelbush. There. That's a goal. And now, there's only a point the difference. Carlton, one goal, one seven points to North Melbourne. One goal, six points after just on four minutes of play in this first quarter. It's going to be a real ring-a-ding today. I'll tell you that now. Well, it's got all the atmosphere there. There's Alex Jesselenko in the centre urging his players on. Wayne Schimmelbush, Sam Kekovic there. South be the Carlton player. There's Jesselenko. Looks like he's having a run on the ball. I wouldn't be surprised he's in, in the centre. centre. That's he right, is in Mike. the centre, Lou. Down she goes once again. Jones moves in there. Nolan gets up too. The tap down comes here towards Burns of North Melbourne. Burns puts it into attack. Gets it to the half forward flank. A chance here for Sutton, but he couldn't hold the mark. Through comes McConnell of Carlton. McConnell tries one over towards Jones. There's nobody near Jones. Will he have time to pick it up? Bit like a cow with a cup of tea. He's caught. But it's called play on. In comes Duel now. Duel of Carlton comes into trouble there on the person of Keith Gregg, the North Melbourne skipper. Gregg picks the ball up, gets it over here towards Blight. Malcolm Blight drives into the forward zone. Carlton couldn't take the mark. Jones dives on top of the ball. They dive on top of him. There'll be a bounce at the centre-half forward position for North Melbourne. 
North Melbourne kicking to the southern end of this magnificent arena, VFL Park. There they go, the knockaway comes to Jones, but it's North Melbourne going forward. McClure is racing after the ball. Schimmelbush comes in, fumbles as you saw. Eventually puts a left footer into the forward zone proper. Down goes uh, Sutton. Jones comes in there for Carlton. Schimmelbush is with him. In comes Jessalenko. Mick Nolan's with him. Who's going to come out? There'll be a ball up the drag. No, free kick. Free kick to Jessalenko. Quick hand pass over here towards Dool. And Dool starts to drive Carlton forward. And it's uh, Keo fumbling the mark out there on the wing position, but recovers okay. And now he goes for a hand pass over to Armstrong. Armstrong drives the ball up there to Mangles, but it was punched away. Gummelin goes for the punch too. Fitzpatrick gets a quick kick across to the half-forward flank. Up got McCullen very high. Down comes the ball to Pickett. Right on his tail is Dench. Not giving him an inch at the moment as he goes down. He's grabbed the game. And Falcon picks it up, a hand pass. Oh, Henshaw, not Henshaw. It's Melrose in play at all. He's down left and right that time, and no free kick. And down goes Pickett. Well, if you look, Fritz, you've got to get it back. And there'll be a free kick to Pickett, I'd say. Now he's playing it to Fitzpatrick. I don't know what for. By golly, Melrose is in a bit of trouble that time. I thought it was quite a... Oh, there's play on down here. Oh, down he goes now. And it's out of bounds or a free kick to North Melbourne. Well, there's no big puns at the moment, Michael. A free kick going to Simmerbush. Waiting on Simmerbush to have his kick. Down she goes, right up towards that uh, full forward zone. They all fly on a good mark to Heath. He's taken a grab mark that time as he goes for a hand pass to Armstrong. Armstrong eludes about two opponents. He gets the ball back there. They're all flying. Moore got his hands, but finally picked up by Walls. He's down, Walls. Oh, and there's a blue on the oh, wing here. Back here, giving a go back in. The ball's up there in the forward line. A free kick to Carlton. Oh, there's no big pardons at the moment. The tension's really on. There's the kick by Armstrong, up to the full forward zone. Mackay got a one-hander to do it, couldn't hold the mark. It goes for a safe bit of play that time. After it was Mackay again, and Henshaw takes it over the line and out of bounds. Well, she'll be on here before That's the day's out. Burn, isn't it? Burn. I'll tell you what, it's pretty niggly at the moment, mate. Well, I can't keep up with it. The Carlton players went in pretty hard right from the bounce, and the North Melbourne blokes are coming back. That's the way you want it, they say. This is the way you're going to get it. Still, Carlton had a tough one last week. Through comes Keogh there. He couldn't get away with it. I think Carlton learned from last week, Lou, that uh, it's first in best dressed. There'll be another bounce not far out from the Carlton goals. Down she goes. Fitzpatrick and Nolan. But up goes Mackay. The ball knocked uh, clear here. Cable come in. Picked up by Walls. He's well shepherded. Walls a left footer. It's going in towards goals. But it's marked in the last line of defence by Henshaw. Henshaw tries a hand pass across here towards Ick. He gets it over to Byrne. Byrne now going along that eastern side. That's a good kick by Byrne. Roll almost up to the wing position. It's taken away by Malcolm Blight. He gets away from Dool. He's got a paddock in front of him. He tries the kick in here towards Burns. Burns fumbles the mark, however. Tries to knock it on. Does so. Burns is still going. He's tackled by Jessalenko. Jessalenko's got it. Cowton comes in. But Jessalenko, beautiful play. It's trapped here by Keith Gregg. He's grabbed by Dool. No whistle, however. Picked up by Byrne of Carlton. Gets it over to Armstrong. Armstrong taking a bit of a run. Kicks the ball now. Tries to screw it in towards centre half forward. Up goes Mick Nolan. He's taken the mark. Great mark to Nolan out there at uh, half back flank. Well, the big uh, Carlton Ruckman haven't dominated yet. Big Mick Nolan in the way as he drives the ball out towards Flight and Duel. Jones in front. He got his hands to it. Couldn't hold the mark. There's Greg trying to get it out now. There's a lot of pushing and shoving going on. Both sides not making much of a chance as Duel gets a hand pass. Out to Armstrong, a short pass. It's a bit long for Wall, but he's got it now. It's put on his uh, hammer as uh, Gumbleton goes McClure. It's taken away from McClure. Ooh. They're going over left and right again as Jezelenko's playing a great game in the centre. Gets it back to the half-back flank position, up uh, forward flank position for Carlton. And there's another tussle going on now. As we see Pickett diving in there, and the two North Melbourne defenders pouncing on the ball. Pickett's got the run, but there's a free kick. And it will go to David Dench out there at half-back. Oh, I'll go to Ashman, Lou, he was grabbed by the leg. Like yeah, I thought it was grabbed by the leg. No, he was grabbed by the leg. So Ashman's got the ball. Don't know whether he could kick this, and lead to be a heck of a good kick. But up he comes, oh, he gets around the man on the mark, eventually does take his kick, but it's heading offline, up goes Mackay, couldn't hold the mark, Ick is there, comes down, Ick is going to be paid the mark, I reckon. I think he might be paying to Mick Nolan, I think. 
That was X mark for mine. For mine too, but I thought the other free, the free kick before was the other way too, you know. Well, let's see who's going to take it. Yes, it's Mick Nolan. He might have paid him a I don't know how he could have paid a free. However, it's North Melbourne's ball, whichever way you look at it, as Nolan takes his kick. Oh, it's a big kick. Almost to the wing position on the outer side of the ground. The ball not clear here by Armstrong. Cable comes in for the race, but Byrne of Carlton comes in. Over they go. Oh, Cable almost caught the beauty. Oh, golly. She's pretty tough. It goes over to Greg now. Greg running up towards the wing position on the eastern side. Tries one down here towards Malcolm Blight. He's uh, clear. Blight, her hand pass across here towards Greg. North looking pretty good as they go forward. Greg comes straight across the ground. Will this come off? Melrose, he's got to get the free kick. That's a hard way to get them and a 15-metre penalty too. Well, I think it's going to be tit for tat. One of ours goes down, one of yours will go down. I think that's the way it might develop. I don't think there was anything unfair, to be honest with you, in the way uh, you think there was, Lou. No, I, I don't think it, it was unfair. An I think he may have arrived a bit late. Oh, well, he copped him. There's no doubt about that. But I think his objective was the ball as Melrose drives forward here. The ball couldn't be taken by Schimmelbush. It's grabbed by Dool. Dool loses possession of it. In comes Jack O'Connell. Kicks it out of Mark McClure's hands. Over here towards Philip Pennell. It's close to the boundary line. There'll be a throw-in. North Melbourne's half-forward flank on the outer or eastern side. Waiting for the ball to come back into play now. My God, this is a pretty tough game at the oh, moment. Oh, well, my word it is. Carlton going in very hard. Up they go. Carlton got the knockout. Kicked away by Dorse. Was smothered again. Keo trying to get it out. They're still piling up over there. Neither side breaking clear. The umpire's found a free kick to Keo. Was it going to Mangles? Out to Mangles. They're hunting in packs both sides at the moment. Ball back to that uh, wing position. Punch away from Mackay. Picked up by Armstrong. He's always there. Hand pass to Jezelenko. Oh, Beautiful play. play. And a beautiful long hand pass there, looking for Pickett and Walls. Now Walls has got the run of the ball. Gumbleton right on his tail. He's Free grabbed his push in the back, I'd say. Let's see what he does. I think he was pushed in the back. Umpire goes down. Well, I'm going to paint Walls a free kick. Well, he's got to ball it up out there on the half forward flank, about 60 metres out from the Carlton goal. Grabbed by Pickett. <laughs> he's soon caught it by uh, North Melbourne and a free kick against him for holding the ball. He ran into Big Mick. Well, Mick's doing a great <laughs> job on the ruck for North Melbourne up to this stage. Look at him, the galloping gasometer. Mick Nolan, number 22, ready to fire the ball from that uh, back pocket or a little bit short of half-back position for North Melbourne. Driving the ball out to the wing position. They're all up in the air now. Oh, beautiful mark. To David Mackay, he'd have to pay that. A magnificent mark. Waiting now for David Mackay. Goes for a pass and a good one. And a mark to Armstrong. He quickly plays on. Hooks the ball back over his shoulder. Looking for Jezelenko. And he's everywhere in this first quarter for Carlton. Ready to go forward. Jezelenko gets the ball up forward. Up towards Aspen. Couldn't get his hands to it. Going after it now for North Melbourne. As uh, Henshaw on the ball is out of bounds. Out of bounds. Henshaw is getting a kick up there. Must have come off uh, Ashman's boot. Or must have paid. Could have paid. He could have paid him for uh, holding. Melrose still in a bit of trouble there. As the ball comes along this western side, McClure gets up high, knocks the ball clear. McClure has another go at it. Dench comes in there, can't take it cleanly, but I think Dench is getting a free kick. Dench is on the half-back flank on the western side of the ground. Gee, there have been some strange moves made here today, but it's all uh, mounting up for a good match. Kevin Heath knocks the ball down here to... Uh, Keo, Keo drives in here towards Ashman. Ashman takes the mark. Just couldn't get around. Big Mick then. I think he was going to run off. Ashman's going to try the short one over here towards Keo. He's made the loose man. Keo, another pass forward and hits Mackay right on the chest. Well, Mackay, capable of kicking this. He would be some 65 yards out, directly in front. He's got the distance almost, but over towards Robert Walls. Walls looking for the free kick, but it's not on. And there'll be a throw in in this forward pocket for Carlton on the eastern side of the ground. We're 14 minutes and 10 seconds into the first quarter. And the score, Carlton 1-1-7, North Melbourne one goal straight. There's the tap down. Comes here to Burn of North Melbourne. He's able to go for a bit of a run. He's heading towards the western side of the ground. A hand pass across here finds David Dench. He got one pretty high then, Dench. But it's called play on. Here's McConnon getting the ball clear. Jessalenko comes in, but it's Burn of North Melbourne getting the ball to the wing position. Up they fly and down it comes, a hand pass across here towards Jones, Jones has got it, his hand pass finds Pickett, Pickett runs into trouble but gets his kick in, 
down towards centre half forward for Carlton picked up by David Dench Dench of North Melbourne has his kick smothered however the ball is trapped there by Armstrong he runs into trouble Cable picks the ball up Cable tries to uh, get it forward now under his own steam he gets it to the half forward flank he's looking for Greg here's a race between Byrne of Carlton and Greg of North Melbourne oh look at that from move magnificent stuff from Keith Greg but his kick is smothered over the line by Dill no it wasn't over the line it was smothered and Greg is still in battling he's getting a free kick never had the ball Burn of uh, Carlton grabbing too high and Keith Gregg is about to put North right into attack. This ball, if it doesn't go through the goals, will land right in the goal square. Up he comes the North Melbourne skipper, dual Brownlow medalist. It's on the edge of the goal square, out they come, there's a Mark Sutton! Ah, oh, but a free kick could be paid, no? To Jones. Yes, it is. A free kick is being paid to Jones of Carlton, but what a magnificent mark. Against uh, Kekovic that time, there was no doubt about the free kick. As we see, Jones fumble the ball, gets a hand pass to Pennell. Pennell drives the ball from that back pocket position out to the wing, up gets Blight, he's got the mark. By God, this fella can mark too, Blight. There he goes now, Blight ready to send the attack. Not a very good drop kick as it goes up there, over the head of the pack. As they go now for Shimmelbush, he's in plenty of trouble. Still gives him a bump that time, and the umpire's going to ball it up about 40 metres out. Uh, from the uh, North Melbourne goal. They're trailing by a point at the moment. Only one goal on the board for North and one goal won seven points for Carlton. Down she goes. Jones got the tap down. Going after his Dortson. Hooks it back. A hand right. pass to Burns. It's good play that time, Michael, as the ball goes wide. Looking for Shimmerbush. Out comes Pennell, but he plays the ball safe and puts it out of bounds. And it's out of bounds about 30 metres around from the North Melbourne goal. On that outer side. Waiting for the throw in there. It'll be Jones and Kekovic. Up gets uh, Cout and got the push down, but there was no one there for North, and the ball is out of bounds. Well, we haven't had a scoring shot for 13, uh, almost 13 and a half minutes. Well, that just goes to show what uh, strain these fellas are going through. It's a battle of the defences, and neither side giving as Kekovic gets a tap down. Coming after it now is Heath, a hand pass back to Pennell. That's pretty safe play. Ball kicked back now towards uh, Pickett, goes for a hand pass over to Dill. Dill drives the ball well up towards the centre line. Ball punched away that time by Jezelenko. Over to uh, Burn it is. Now uh, we see Greg driving the ball up towards the uh, full forward zone. Players all flying with the ball. McClure stays down. He's grabbed. It comes back to O'Connell. He kicks the ball off the side of his boot. Going after it now is Sutton. Will it bounce right? It does. He snaps for goal. And it's out of bounds on the full. And North Melbourne are still trailing by one point. Yes, at the 17 and a half minute mark in the first quarter of the preliminary final of 1976. Carlton a 1-1-7. North Melbourne a one goal straight six. A point the difference. Which is scoring end, do you know? No, I can't work it out, Lou. I, I would think the end of which North Melbourne is kicking. Looking, uh, the wind's coming from the northerly direction. It's not working out that way. Mick Nolan, the man in front, but Jones of Carlton takes it away. Jones in towards the centre. Here's a race for the ball. Gumbleton in front of Robert Walls. Takes the ball. Runs into burn almost, but gets his kick to the half forward. Frank Nolan is there, but couldn't get uh, under it properly. McClure of Carlton comes out. A long hand pass up here towards Keogh. Keo of Carlton's got plenty of time to recover. There's nobody near him. He's going for a run. Eventually he gets his kick in. Oh, gee, Keo almost went then. Desperate tackle from Byrne of North Melbourne. There'll be a throw in. Carlton's half forward flank on the western side of the ground. There they go. Fitzpatrick going in there with Moore. Moore gets a tap away here. The ball picked up by Henshaw. Henshaw of North screws it around. He's put it over the line on the full and the resultant kick will go Carlton's way to McConnon. McConnon of Carlton from the half forward flank. Drives them forward. Oh, it's intercepted however by Burns of uh, North and he says to Armstrong, do that again. I'll give you one right between the eyes. Burns' kick comes to the wink position. Big Jones is there once again. He's too big for them. They can't get the mark. Jones taps it down all right. North Melbourne little men come in now. There's a free kick to Sutton, but it's called play on. Dill comes in there for Carlton. He's being chased by Melrose. Gets the ball across here towards Ashman. Ashman of Carlton drives forward. It's a big kick, but it's well offline. Going into the forward pocket. Up goes Malcolm Blight and takes a safe mark in defence. Good mark to Blight. He's going to kick across goal now as he kicks the ball and finds Henshaw on his own. He'll go for a bit of a run. There's his first bounce, driving the ball wide out towards the wing position. Oh, up he gets McConnell and takes a lovely mark. It was too long for Burns that time. Wasn't a good pass by Henshaw. Another short pass right across there to, uh, to the centre of the ground. Grabbed by Pickett now. He's a little short of centre half forward as he drives it over the half forward line. And a good mark to Burn. 
He's had a bit of trouble there with uh, Greg today. The last two uh, occasions these fellas met, Byrne was on top, but now he's got a chance to put himself right back in the goal. He's on a game. He's only about, uh, what, 50, it wouldn't be 50 metres out, and uh, just about directly in front. A chance to kick Carlton's second goal. There he goes, Byrne. The kick doesn't make the distance. Oh, I'd pay that mark to yes. Westman, no doubt about that. I oh, that was a gutsy mark right in front of the pack, in front of all those big guys too. He didn't even hesitate. Very didn't strong flinch. player, Lou, isn't he? Oh, he's going to be a dangerous player before the day's out, this fellow. Henshaw's got to stand close to him. He wants to keep him covered. Now, there's a certain goal, I'd say, for Carlton. Yep, right through the middle. So Carlton go to two goals, won 13 points. And North Melbourne still one goal, six points. We've played, what, 20 and a half minutes of this first quarter. And, Lou, that was the first score for 17 minutes. Well, that just goes to show the, the strain on the defences and that both defences have been standing up pretty well, haven't they? Looks like Chisnell's going to come on. There's Chisnell, Peter Chisnell warming up. Could be Melrose is coming off. Yep. Melrose coming off for North Melbourne. Well, that's bad luck for the Kangaroos and their quest for their second successive premiership. Bad luck for Melrose. And here's Chisnell, all fired up. He comes onto the ground. The ball has bounced once again. Jones gets a tap away. Jesselenko gets it across here to Mangles. Mangles towards Keogh, but it's Jesselenko once again coming through brilliantly. His kick screws around towards the pocket. Taken away here by Moore. Moore is grabbed by Fitzpatrick, but Moore gets away with it. Moore of North Melbourne to the wing position on the outer side. The ball heading towards the boundary line. As Byrne of Carlton comes in, he's shepherded by Duell. Byrne's hand pass goes to Pickett, and here's Carlton going forward once again. Pickett finds Keogh. Keogh on the half-forward flank. Takes his kick into the forward zone. In comes Ashman. Couldn't get away with it. Ball picked up by Henshaw of North. Henshaw running towards the centre. Eventually kicks. Oh, mccullen has got his name all over it. Jack Hill, the blind miner, could see that one coming. Oh, and through they come. And McConnell takes his kick into the forward zone. Look at the mighty mob going up there. Comes down to Cable. Barry Cable of North Melbourne from the half-forward flank up towards the wing position. Byrne drops a mark for Carlton there. He can't get away with it. And it's holding the ball. There was no doubt about that. Holding the ball. It's Keith Gregg to take it. Gregg of North Melbourne moves in towards the centre. Kicks down towards centre half-forward. Oh, up goes McClure! Oh, fantastic, Mark. Well, Sutton reckon he had that, and I'll tell you what, all he got out of that is a sore bottom. Oh, gee, did he ride him. There's the ball going up towards Armstrong now, who's on the wing position on the western side. North Melbourne players well behind their uh, opposing uh, players. The ball not clear here. Chance for North Melbourne to get away with it. Down goes Dench. The ball comes across here towards Burns, but in comes Gumbledon. Gumbledon of North Melbourne struggles it over to the wing position. In comes, uh, oh, Falcon, he's met by McClure. Ball picked up by McConnon. McConnon in towards the centre. Beautiful play as it's taken away here by Pickett. Pickett of Carlton into the forward zone. It's a poor kick. Trapped here by Dawson. We haven't seen much of him. Dawson back towards the centre. No mark, however. Jones knocks the ball clear. Knocks it over to Walls. Walls of Carlton up towards centre half forward once again. The mighty mob fire flies and looks like Mangles coming out with the mark. Mangles a hand pass across. It doesn't come off. It's Dench with the ball. He's grabbed by Jessalenko. It's a free kick, I reckon, going North Melbourne's way. Going to David Dench. He was held while not in possession. He plays it over to Mick Nolan. And Mick Nolan's ready to send North Melbourne to attack, uh, attack with a very hefty kick. Up gets Blight. Flew very high. There's the ball taken away from Cowton by Duell. Duell gets it wide out towards Byrne and uh, Greg. At this time, it's Byrne to take the mark. A darn good one at that, too. Byrne out there, a little short of the half-back line for Carlton. Drives the ball up towards their half-forward line now. Oh, nearly a push in the back, but he's found it, I'd say, yes. And the free kick going there to Wicky. Quickly plays on. Now it's over um, North Melbourne's half-forward line. An easy mark taken there that time by Heath. They're falling apart up forward a bit, North Melbourne. Not much uh, coordination at all as we see a mark going to Armstrong. Another hand pass to Keogh. Carlton on top at the moment as a short pass goes to Jezelenko out there on the wing position. Jezelenko now with a punt kick over the half-forward line. Mackay punched away from Mackay by Ick. It bounces right for Robert Wall, but Gumbelin's right on his tail. Takes the ball away. Good sharking by Gumbelin that time. Out it comes wide of this wing position. There we see uh, McConnell on his own. Oh, nicely he steps around uh, Chisnell as he goes for a pass and a good pass. Now he's dropped the mark. And there's a go for Byrne. It's pressure football by both sides. The hand pass, a hand holding the ball against uh, Byrne of North Melbourne. 
And the free kick to go to Rod Ashman, doing a great job down there for Carl. Short pass about when I spoke too soon. A little cable chips in front of Mangles and takes the mark down there in the back pocket position. Ashman and Armstrong doing a lot of damage. Well, they both they? are, Mike, as the short pass over to Big McNolan. And he takes the mark a little short of centre half back with Carlton on 19 points to North Melbourne 6 at the 25 minute mark of this uh, first quarter. It's been full of instance too as we see Jones take an easy mark at centre field for, uh, for Carlton. Jones about to put the Blues into attack, goes wide to the flank position on the eastern side. Pickett's got it. He's got plenty of time to recover. I said before the North Melbourne players seem to be behind the, their uh, opponents. Oh, I reckon that was on the board, you know that. I reckon he dropped it. Well, I think he got rid of the ball before he was grabbed, or just a fraction, Lou. I think North were a bit stiff then. That's the way it goes. Pick it with the ball. Tries a short run in here towards Jesselenko. Jesselenko now goes to the half-forward flank. It's a magnificent pass and finds Byrne of Carlton. Byrne about to drive the Blues right into attack in the time-on period of the first quarter of the preliminary final of 1976. Up goes Mackay. Couldn't get away with it. Taken there by Gumbledon. He hand passes over to Henshaw. Henshaw to Cable. Cable going for a run around that eastern flank now. Eventually takes his kick. It's a nice kick too. Down towards the weak position. Up goes Malcolm Blight. Duel is there, however. Duel not quite so spectacular, but oh golly, can he play football. Gets it to Pickett. Pickett now right up into the forward zone. Up goes Byrne of North Melbourne to take the mark. Hand pass across here. Finds uh, Henshaw. Henshaw of North now down into the centre of the ground. It's an easy one for Burns to take. Burns a quick hand pass over to Chisnell. Gee, North seem to be outgunned here, but they're still playing well. The ball coming down. Trapped there by Pinnell. But he's uh, pushed to one side by Cowton. Eventually takes the ball over the line. And there'll be a throw in on that half forward flank for North Melbourne on the eastern side. They're kicking to the southern end. North. Waiting for the ball to come back into play. It's about 70 metres around from the uh, North Melbourne goal. And they're dying for one at the moment as Jones gets the knock down to Heath. Hand pass back to Keo. In trouble there as he's grabbed by Felt, but spins away from trouble very nicely too. And gets the ball back towards the wing position. Oh, up goes uh, Fitzpatrick. Nearly knocked Nolan over that time. A chance for Dawson. And a free kick going there to, uh, to Nolan. Doing a very good job for North. There's the siren for the end of the quarter. And we see Carlton. Two goals, one... Uh, Two goals, one 13 points to North Melbourne, one goal...